stopping by. So today I wanted to talk about three things that are super important for your plants to be healthy. Uh, one, well actually four things. Um, one is the light that the plant gets. Each plant has different light needs. Another is the amount of water that your plant gets, which is different for all plants as well. And then the third is the pH level of the soil, which ranges between like six and a half to seven for most indoor plants. And then the last thing is humidity. I actually bought a new tool the other day and I was pretty excited about it. I was looking for um, some birthday gifts for Harley and I ran across this and I'm like, woohoo, this looks like fun. So I bought one for myself because I'd like to be a little bit more scientific in my plant care. It's made by Vigoro. I got it online and it's a meter. All you have to do is stick this in the soil and it measures how much light the plant's getting, the moisture of the soil, and also the pH level. So that's pretty dang cool. And I thought we could try it out on some of my plants and see if they're getting what they need because I've just been using this all the time. I stick the finger in the dirt, see if, I'm hoping this is more accurate than this. We'll see. So let's go ahead and try it on some of the, our, my plants and see how it works. Okay, so let's start on this black cardinal philodendron. One thing that I did read on this gauge was that we should, it should insert clear to the top. And this pot isn't even, it doesn't go clear to the top. So we'll just stick that in as far as we can. It's in the red zone, it says. Interesting, because when I fill this with my finger, it actually feels a little bit damp still. So I guess it is a little bit damp, um, but it's in the red zone, so it's a three. So this babe's probably about due for some water, because philodendrons, according to the chart that came on the back of here, they like to be a level six moisture. Now let's test the light level of these monsteras here. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the, the gauge on here to the light. Move the switch to the light position. And then we'll just stick it in here. Okay, and then if we look at the light, it's pretty dark. It's a very rainy day today, so I don't have a lot of light in here. Yeah, it says the light is zero. So I did go around and test this on some other plants and the light meter did move a little bit. Like I said, it's a rainy day today, but we'll try it one more time. It's pretty dark over here anyway, and like I said, very cloudy outside, so that's right. And then if we wanna change the pH, or check the pH, we just flip the switch to pH and um, look at the alkaline acidic line here, and it's between six and a half and seven, so that's perfect. And then the moisture level on this one, let's see, we look up at the moisture, and this one's wet, so it went zoop, clear up to wet. Um, this, this is gonna help me know, I think my finger has been lying to me. I think I'm much more accurate with this finger. A couple more things I should mention is that you should, it says you should wash this off after every plant you stick it into. It also comes with a card that tells you the recommended light, moisture, and acidity levels for each plant. That's helpful. And I guess we know what I'm gonna be doing all day today. It's just testing the levels on all my plants. It also came with a card that tells you what the proper levels of light, moisture, and acidity are for each type of house plant. And I sat that down somewhere, and I can't find it now, or I'd show it to you. But that was kind of cool, and I'm sure that's something you can Google, since you can Google everything. The fourth thing that's important to the health of your plants is the humidity level. Um, some plants don't, like, require humidity, but I've never really seen any plants that, like, don't like it. Even cacti and that, as long as they have sun, I haven't noticed that they hate humidity at all. And um, that's an important thing to measure. I used to have this. It's just a an old school humidity meter and it works just fine. It also gives you the temperature, but I recently bought this. Um, it has a magnet on it and it shows you the humidity, like what level of humidity it is. I had this in our plant room 
and it's it was 81 percent humidity my house is pretty darn humid i do have humidifiers running throughout the house yeah so i have high humidity it tells me it tells me what the indoor temperature is which is 72 degrees then it also tells you like what the lowest humidity and what the highest humidity has been where you have this and also the lowest temperature and the highest temperature so you can kind of keep tabs on where the temperature and humidity levels are in your house at all times like a range of them okay guys well thanks for watching there are other things that are important to the health of your plants such as what type of soil you're using for the plants and um, how you're fertilizing and making sure that they get enough nutrients and we'll talk about those in some future videos um, but for today, I hope that this video helped you with knowing how to gauge how much water you're giving your plants, the humidity, the light, and the, what was the other one, pH of the soil. Just a reminder, May 18th at 10 o'clock Mountain Time, AM, sorry, 10 o'clock AM Mountain Time, we'll be having the second annual YouTube plant swap. So um, be sure to check in for that if you can, if you're looking to swap some plants, which is always fun. And I hope you guys all have a great day. I appreciate all you do. You guys are awesome. And remember to plant on. I did a plant swap with Sam Heatha and I just got my package today and I am blown away by the amazing plants she sent to me. Um, I hope she's not disappointed when she opens the package that I sent her because it's not nearly as generous. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys these plants. They're quite rare, some of them too. Um, this is a Stapelia. I honestly don't even know what this one is, but it looks way cool. I'm going to look it up. Uh, this is a Trailing Jade. It's a type of Peperomia. Look at that. Her peperomias must be gargantuan. And uh, this one over here is the, let's see. Okay, what is that? Eurocampa, Eurocampa? Yeah, the peperomia Eurocampa looks like. Look at that. It has those little fat round leaves that I love. I just can't get over, you know, peperomias aren't that big of plants generally, but she sent me all this cutting from one plant and not all from one plant. It's rather impressive. Um, this one is the Sansevieria parva, which I think I might have this one. I'm not sure. So cool. Okay, and then this is a raven, a zenzi, is it zenzi? I forget how to say it, but it's not a raven. I'm sorry, a zizi plant. It's the miniature version. So cute. That it looks so cute on the table. Look at that. Um. This is a Sansevieria Sayurii. Kind of looks like the Bantel Delight. Beautiful. Uh, this is a pickle plant. It's kind of cool, the variegation on this. It does look like a bunch of little pickles on there. Okay, it's funny because she asked me if I wanted this. And she called it a cactus fern. And I'm like, well, I don't even know what that is. But then I looked up the picture and this was actually one of the uh, things that I wanted on my, it was on my top 10 list, but I, I only knew the scientific name for it, which I can't think of at the moment. I think it's like Carcini, blah, blah, I don't know. But yay, isn't that cool? She sent me three nice big bits of it. And then over here, this is the Peperomia Kim Nachii. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm so excited, you guys. I can't even, can't even. Okay. 
And then next to that over here, this is a Peperomia columella. Isn't that cool? She sent this one all rooted up in a pot for me already. That is a beaut. So neat. I love Peperomias. Well, I love them all. And then this is a Philodendron Stenolobum. Stenolobum. Yeah, wow, look at that. Isn't that fun? So thank you, Sam Heatha. This was great. Um, this makes me really excited for the plant swap coming up. Hope y'all are excited. Thanks, Sam Heatha, and everybody have a good day.